going on YouTube? I'm going to try shooting a video a little differently today. I'm going to use my cell phone and see if uh, I can get a better picture that way. Um, got a pretty big stack of stuff to show off, including um, a couple of really nice cards. But I got a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, up first, uh, last Saturday, I went down to RBI Crew 7 Ryan's shop. Um, uh, met up with John, rode down there. And I needed to pick up a bunch of supplies, and my uh, BGS submission order had come back in, and I wanted to bust my first box of cards. And I went with 2013 Score Jumbo because ever since that product came out, I just really enjoyed watching the breaks of it, and I uh, liked picking up all the different Clay Matthews parallels in it. And that's why I wanted it because there's so many numbered cards in there. I don't even care if the stuff's really valuable. I just liked. The stuff, you get 10 jumbo packs, 50 cards a piece, so 500 cards, fun to go through. But anyway, I got a pretty good box, um, got several numbered cards, and I actually had uh, four auto box, had four autographs in it. Um, I don't have them with me. Uh, one was Eric Reed, rookie auto, Gavin Escobar, rookie auto, and Paul Puzlesny. Uh, veteran auto and then this one right here was in one of the last few packs and need to say I was pretty happy it was a Geno Smith one of one rookie printing plate auto and that is he, he has a really nice signature and he got that whole thing on the sticker which is not very common with him but uh, there it is the hot rookie signatures black plate one of one so not bad for my first ever box break and probably my last because, eh, I don't know, it, I'd rather buy singles. But anyway, moving on, uh, picked up one of these off of uh, Raffle Group and another one off of eBay. Uh, this is a prospect that um, I'm putting back. I really like this guy. Um, he's young and powerful as hell. He's a first base prospect for the Oakland Athletics. He is... Uh, he won't turn 20 until the end of this month, um, and he already had a hell of a year in uh, the minors last year, so I think he'll only get better. Already has gold glove uh, abilities at first, just got to get the hit tool up there. But uh, from 2013, I think is what it is. Yeah, 2013 Bowman Chrome Prospects, we've got a Matt Olson Blue Wave Auto, on-card auto, super-looking card numbered 35 out of 50 and then this one I picked up off eBay and this one's graded BGS 9.5 10 gym mint uh, the subs on it are crazy you got 9 5 10 9 5 9 5 uh, this is the blue refractor autograph and that is numbered 96 out of 150 so the only two cards I have of them so far. I'm going to set them back because I have a lot of faith in this kid. I think he's going to be a good one. And on to my BGS submission. I only submitted one card. It was a big card. And it came back very, very well for me. It graded 9, 5, 10. Most of you have probably already seen it on uh, Ryan's video or on YouTube or, or on uh, Facebook, rather. Um, from 2013 Bowman, this is the 2013 Bowman Chrome Rookie Autograph Redemption of the Beast, Mr. Eddie Lacy in his NFL uniform. Love that thing. Gorgeous card. It is up for sale. Ah, uh, hey, you see me in the reflection. Um, it is listed right now on eBay. I'm not really looking to sell it, but if I get offered the right price, I will. Because to me, this is Eddie Lacy's best looking rookie card. I, I I don't think there's anything better out there of him. And it's a really tough card to find. I think uh, Topps will not give an actual print run, but there's 25 or less of them. And I see far more of other players than I do of Lacy. So I'm guessing he's less than 25. So, so really happy with that submission. Like I said, only card I sent in came back 9, 5, 10. So beautiful uh been a while since i showed anything of this guy i uh, got two clay matthews editions um one is from 2009 rookies and stars longevity 
I used to have one of these, and I traded it to Troy, Mr. Packer's Corner, and I've been trying to find one ever since, and one finally got listed, so I jumped on it. Um, this is the Emerald Parallel Rookie, and that thing is numbered 21 out of 25, so happy to get a hold of that. Then, this bad boy, I tried to, uh, it was listed at one point on uh, Buy Now Best Offer, and I wasn't willing to go to the seller's price. Somebody else was, bought it, and then decided they'd list it on auction. Well, I won it for less than he paid for it, so he took quite a bit of a loss. He lost over 20 bucks on it. Uh, but from 2013 Inception, this is the Inception Blue Parallel 101, Mr. Clay Matthews, and... I already have the red out of 25 in one of the printing plates, so might as well go ahead and pick up the remainders of the parallels, and if any other plates pop up, try to buy them. Yeah, have a nice little rainbow there. Love Inception. Uh, I, I just love the looks of those cards. The artwork is amazing. So Another 101 for the collection. And on to the Kevin Garnett pickups. Uh, first is this from 2001 uh, Upper Deck Ultimate Victory. This is the Victory Collection Red Parallel. It's got a nice shine to it and uh, texture. Um, that's numbered 43 out of 350. It's the Fly to Kevin uh, little insert thing they have of him. And just a cool looking card and I like the numbered stuff. Then this card, this is the first one of these I had seen. I I didn't know this set existed, but this is from 2000 or uh, 1996 97 SPX. This is the Hollow View Heroes die cut hologram. That card is freaking nuts. Not really sure if I can get a good enough picture on there of it to give it justice, but love all the different pictures just a pretty card so happy to have that one got it fairly cheap and then I got a second one of these because it was listed in an auction <laughs> the auction title was just awful it was Steve Francis Andre Miller and Kevin Garnett and they didn't even show the picture of the Garnett really in on the title page so this card went under the radar and I paid substantially less for this one than I did for the first one. I got this card for, uh, in the lot for $9.99 plus shipping. Um, this is from Skybox Premium, the Slam Funk. Insert acetate and sparkle card. I'm going to take it out of the team bag see if I can get it to sparkle for everybody. Eh, a little bit, nothing Nothing too great. Let me see if I can turn on the light. There we go. Turn on the light on my camera. Super looking card. Okay. And only two cards left. And they are both freaking gorgeous. And I'm happy to have them. They're rare little cards. Uh, this one is from 19... It's 97, 98. Yeah, 97, 98. Top's Finest. Uncommon Silver Embossed Refractor Parallel, numbered 74 out of 263. That card is freaking ridiculous. Like I said, they're embossed, and that refractor in the background is almost like an atomic. Or uh, not atomic, but uh, it's almost like the technology they used on the Panini used on the Finites. Even the back of these cards are... All hollow foil, refractory, and see the embossing a little bit. But yeah, number 74 out of 263. Love this card. It is freaking gorgeous. Okay, get it back in its mag. And finally, the last card to show. I've been waiting on this card for, uh, I purchased it almost two weeks ago. It'll be two weeks tomorrow. On March 8th, I bought this card, and I've been waiting for it to come in ever since. It actually shipped from the Philippines on the 13th, arrived in California on the 15th, and then sat in California all the way up until it got here today. So, it took longer to get from California to me than it did from the Philippines to 
California, so that's pretty weak. But this card, I paid a substantial amount of money for it, and this is how it came shipped to me. In a freaking PWE stapled to some kind of customs form from the Philippines. I paid $7 shipping on this. And I paid well over $100 for this card. And this is how this guy sent it to me. And I had to go sign for it. And when I handed the postal worker the slip, he walked around to the back. And when he came back around the corner with this in his hand, my heart freaking sunk. And I was just so... I was nauseous and I was so freaking pissed off. I could not believe that I've been waiting this long for this card and this is how it was shipped. And I got home and I actually recorded a video of myself opening it up and just to cover myself if it were damaged because I assumed it would be. And I opened it up and this was the freaking top loader that it was in. I don't know if here, I'll go ahead and turn the flash or the camera back off. Not really doing this thing justice. It is so freaking dirty. I mean, you can see that ring in there. That's on the inside around the top or the penny sleeve. All that black, dirt, nasty freaking tape and film. I'd say this card was inside this top loader from the time it was pulled back in 98 and just obviously not very well taken care of and it just angered me so much that this house was shipped but somehow this card when you see it it did not get damaged and I for the life of me cannot figure out how I I figured it was totally destroyed by the rollers in the system or in just the freaking lack of protection but it's in great condition from 1997-98 Skybox EX2000. This is the cut above die cut insert, and these things are freaking crazy rare to find. And oh shit, I just I, I was just so upset about how this card was shipped that I, I could have swore it'd be ruined, and the fact that it's not. It's just beyond belief. It's awesome. Hollow foil. Uh, embossed. Raised uh, raised lettering there. And obviously the crazy cool die cut across the top of the blades. But it's safe. It's in my collection. Somehow it just did not get ruined. I don't... can't explain it. But all is good. I, I really just don't think the seller knew what he was doing. He's fairly new and I took a chance buying it just because it's the only one I've seen listed and he has under 15 feedback and on, and none of it, it only one of it's something he purchased everything he was selling and his listing titles weren't very good so I just don't think he deals in it much and probably didn't see anything wrong with the way he shipped it I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt on that I think he just didn't know but Man, it's just so crazy. That's the way it came. But anyway, that's my video. We're running on about 14 minutes, which is actually pretty, pretty, pretty quick for me considering uh, I showed off more than two cards. So anyway, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will have another video early next week because I got a few things coming in tomorrow, and yeah, so. Anyway, take it easy, everybody. I'll talk to you later.